Have you ever pondered the peculiar question, what would happen if you fired a gun in space? It's a query that might seem like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's one that's rooted in real-world physics and astronomy. We're about to embark on a journey to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, to a place where the laws of physics as we know them are turned upside down and inside out. In the vacuum of space where there's no air, no gravity and no sound, how would a firearm behave? Would the bullet fly forever propelled by the initial force of the discharge, or would it simply float, trapped in the gravitational pull of the nearest celestial body? These are the questions that we're going to grapple with in this video. We'll delve into the principles of physics, the mechanics of firearms, and the nature of space itself to answer this intriguing query. So let's dive into the intriguing world of physics to unravel this cosmic mystery. To comprehend this, we must first understand the basic principles of firing a gun on Earth. So let's get into the mechanics of it. When you pull the trigger of a gun, a firing pin strikes the primer, which is a small amount of chemical compound that ignites upon impact. This ignition sets off the main charge, often gunpowder, which burns rapidly, releasing a massive amount of gas in a confined space. This sudden expansion of gas exerts pressure on all sides of the gun, but the bullet offers the path of least resistance. Consequently, the gas forces the bullet down the barrel at high speed, propelling it out of the gun and towards the target. This is essentially Newton's third law of motion in action. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The force exerted by the gases on the bullet also pushes back on the gun, which is why you feel a recoil or kick when you fire a weapon. Now it's important to note that this process requires oxygen, which is a key component of the chemical reaction that ignites the gunpowder. On Earth, this isn't an issue as our atmosphere is around 21% oxygen. However, as we'll explore later, space is a vastly different environment. Let's also consider the sound of a gunshot. Sound waves need a medium to travel through, such as air, water, or a solid object. On Earth, the rapid expansion of gases from the gunpowder explosion pushes against the surrounding air molecules, creating a wave of pressure that travels to our ears as the bang we associate with gunfire. Now, with this knowledge, we can start to imagine the different circumstances in space. Hold on to your space helmets because things are about to get interesting. Space, as we know, is a vacuum devoid of air and matter, but how does this affect our scenario? Let's dive into the fascinating science of space to understand this better. In our daily lives on Earth we're surrounded by an atmosphere, a blanket of air. This air provides the oxygen that fires need to burn, and the resistance that slows down moving objects. But in space, there's no air. This lack of oxygen and resistance can have some surprising effects. Take for instance the firing of a gun. Here on Earth the gunpowder in a bullet needs oxygen to ignite. But in space there's no readily available oxygen. Does this mean a gun wouldn't fire in space? Not necessarily. Bullets carry their own oxidizer, a chemical that can trigger the explosion required to fire the bullet, even without external oxygen. Now, let's consider gravity. On Earth, gravity pulls everything towards the center of the planet. Fire a bullet, and it will eventually fall to the ground due to gravity. But space is a different ballgame. In the vast expanse of space, far from any celestial body, gravity is practically non-existent. So what happens when a gun is fired in such an environment? The bullet, once fired, would continue to move in the same direction at a constant speed, indefinitely. There's no air to slow it down, and no gravity to pull it down. It would just keep going until it hits something, which in the vastness of space, could be a very very long time. This leads us to an interesting conundrum. If a bullet fired in space doesn't stop, what happens to the recoil? Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when a bullet is fired, the gun kicks back with an equal force. In space, this recoil could potentially propel the shooter in the opposite direction. So in the absence of air and gravity, the results are going to be quite different. And that's just a glimpse into the endless wonders and peculiarities that the science of space has to offer. Now, let's dive into the heart of the matter. What happens when you pull the trigger in space? First, we need to understand that a gun works on the principle of a controlled explosion. When you pull the trigger, the hammer of the gun strikes a small explosive charge. This in turn, ignites the gunpowder packed inside the bullet casing, creating a high-pressure environment. The only way for this pressure to escape is by propelling the bullet forward out of the gun barrel. This is how a gun fires here on Earth. But what about space? Well, the process starts the same way. 
the hammer strikes the charge, igniting the gunpowder. This might surprise you but gunpowder carries its own oxidizer, a chemical that helps the gunpowder burn. So even in the vacuum of space, where there's no oxygen to support combustion, the gunpowder will still ignite. Now here's where things get interesting. As the gunpowder ignites, it creates a high-pressure environment within the bullet casing just like it does on Earth. The bullet is forced forward, out of the gun barrel. So in theory a gun should be able to fire in space. But what happens next? In space, there's no air to slow the bullet down. Without air resistance, the bullet could keep traveling indefinitely until it hits something or is pulled into a celestial body's gravitational field. Simultaneously, the gun will experience a recoil. Newton's third law tells us that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. On Earth the shooter absorbs this recoil. In space, without anything to brace against, the shooter would be pushed backward. They would continue to move in this direction until acted upon by another force like the gravity of a nearby planet or spaceship thrusters. But would the bullet and the shooter move at the same speed? Not quite. The bullet is much smaller and lighter than the shooter, so the bullet would be propelled forward at a much faster speed, while the shooter would be pushed backward more slowly. Interestingly, the sound of a gun firing wouldn't carry in space. Sound waves need a medium like air or water to travel through. In the vacuum of space, there's no medium to carry the sound, so if a gun fires in space, it makes no sound. But what about the flash of light when the gunpowder ignites? That would be visible. Light doesn't need a medium to travel through so the flash from the gunpowder explosion would be visible even in the vacuum of space. So, it turns out firing a gun in space would indeed be a sight to behold. Let's recap what we've learned about our space gun scenario. We've journeyed through the theoretical and the scientific, unraveled the mysteries of the cosmos, and even fired a hypothetical gun in the vacuum of space. We started with understanding the basics, where we explored the fundamental principles of firearm operation. On Earth a gun's propulsion is a result of the chemical reaction in gunpowder that creates gases and pressure, propelling the bullet out of the barrel. The bullet travels through the air, ultimately falling to the ground due to gravity, its path also affected by air resistance. But space is a vastly different environment, it's a vacuum, devoid of air, and in the absence of a nearby massive object essentially free of gravity. Here the principles of Newton's laws of motion reign supreme. We learned that in space a fired bullet wouldn't drop to the ground as it does on Earth because there is no ground for it to fall to. Instead, it would continue in the direction it was fired, potentially forever or until it hits something due to Newton's first law of motion. An object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an external force. We also discussed how the lack of air in space would affect the bullet's trajectory. Without air resistance to slow it down, a bullet would travel much faster and further in space than it would on Earth. And let's not forget the recoil. The gun too would be pushed backwards, a perfect demonstration of Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So we've seen how the laws of physics create a very different experience for a bullet fired in space compared to one fired on Earth. We've also discovered that understanding these laws not only helps us understand our hypothetical space gun scenario, but also gives us greater insight into how the universe works. So, while it's an unlikely scenario, the science behind firing a gun in space certainly offers a fascinating glimpse into the laws of physics at work in our universe.